Hi, I'm Ollie. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Otterbox Defender for the HTC One. So I've broken it down into the four parts of the case you get. This is the uh, the belt holster here, we'll come back to that when I've, uh, I've actually shown you the phone in the case. Here's your three layers. So if we just start by popping the phone in this one. Next thing you do is you take the front part which has got the built in screen protector. Just place it over the top. Work your way around the outside, just get all the clips together. You pretty much hear every one of them locking in as you do it. You just want to make sure you get this uh, correct before you put the uh, rubber outer on. So now we're all those are in. Just take the uh, the rubber out of here and just pop the phone in. Next thing you need to do is just make sure that that fits correctly in the little rim that runs all the way around the front of the screen. So as you can see, it's not too awkward to uh, to fit. There you go. So um, I'll just give you a quick look round. This is the uh, the back. You can see there you've got the cutout for the camera, LED flash. There's the access to the power button, which I quite like as well because it's uh, it's cut down so your finger fits in nicely. The uh, the volume up and down are a little bit stiff, but they always wear in on the otter boxes. It's never a bad thing. It's just so the case doesn't go uh, saggy over time. Here's the access to the micro USB charging port, and here's the access to the uh, three and a half mil headphone jack. You can uh, see there you can pretty much fit any headphones in there just the way it's flushed back at the uh, at the back which is uh, probably been designed on purpose so you can still use Beats headphones in there. On the front you can see you've got a nice rim that runs all the way around the front of the screen so if you do drop the phone down it absorbs any impact, doesn't damage the phone. I've seen plenty of videos where people have thrown these off roofs and second story windows without causing any damage at all which is uh, which is always good. Here's the uh, the built in screen protector which they've put a lot of work into making it feel as good as the original glass screen. It doesn't feel, uh, feel bad at all to be fair. There's the opening at the top for the speaker camera and also the two uh, light sensors there. At the bottom this looks a little bit weird at first but you quite quickly get used to it. It's obviously so they can have the speaker and you've still got access to these buttons here. So uh, all in all really nice case. The um, belt holster that comes with it, so you clip that over your uh, belt, you can see there it's designed to uh, to lock around the bottom so it's not just going to fall off. This also works as a stand as well so if you fold that out enables you to uh, to stand the uh, the phone up. I've uh, tested it a little bit. I haven't found any great combinations to be fair. They're normally quite stable, but with uh, with this phone, I haven't had uh, massive success. So you can pop the uh, phone in that way, so the screen's facing outwards, so you can still access information easy. Or if you turn it round as such, it still locks in. So obviously, then if you're uh, if you're on like a building site or anything like that, whatever hits the phone, it's fully protected at the back, and the screen's nice and protected there as well. So you can uh, you can really rest assured that your uh, phone's as protected as it will be. Always really like the Defender. I, I don't really use the belt holster myself, but the uh, the case itself's awesome. Obviously, it is adding uh, quite a bit of thickness pretty much doubles the thickness of it but you are really getting good protection quite a bit heavier as well but again that, that is the trade-off that you pay for the uh, protection you get with this case I'll pop a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out further if this video has helped if you could like it on YouTube it'd be much appreciated any questions about the product just ask below and I'll do my best to get back to you and uh, thanks a lot for watching if you're interested in HCC one case reviews please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you updated on any future reviews I do thank you